Got some really nice Smith & Wessons here. This one, just the turning on it, all the, and look at the handle here. Just gorgeous piece. Another nice old Smith. Got a little Taurus there. Nice little Colt right there. That's sharp. Blue and orange, just perfect. Got two uh, grips. Another nice Smith. Got some great stuff here. This nice little nine shot. It's called a high standard. And it, I believe it might be from 68 looking at the paperwork for it. And it's pristine. Box is pristine. It's a real nice piece. It's got a super nice Kimber here. I really like that Kimber. Walnut on it's just incredible. And another nice Smith & Wesson. This gentleman has some really nice Smith & Wessons here. And, uh, and I just showed you the, the big boy. Got the 50 uh, Desert Eagle A&E. That's uh, really neat. And uh, 1400 you're not going to find one any better price than that, probably. And he actually has some nice long rifles, too. Some shotguns and stuff. There's more than just uh, guns here at uh, Fort Recovery 2 to bring your uh, wife or girlfriend. There's lots of flowers, just a warning. And she's probably going to take some home. They have some really nice stuff here. And a nice little yard art to go with those beautiful flowers. I don't know what those are, but they're really sharp looking. But you got to love all these beautiful colors for fall. These ladies do a nice job with their uh, decorations and flowers. Look at, we got M&M's back there. We have some Amish visiting. And we have some signs here uh, for your bar or whatever. We'll take a quick look at them. Uh, $30 for the Strohs. Looks like $39 maybe for the Bacardi. So, and if you're a Colts fan, they got Colts banners. And even a uh, how or for Christmas, you can get your big uh, candy canes. Here at uh, Trader's Days, these guys have some nice shotguns. Here's a super nice Model 12. Look at the look at the finish on it. Just beautiful. Nice, nice piece. Both sides. And it's a 20 gauge. Which makes it a little more special. You don't see these super clean 20 gauge shotguns very often. Really nice wood on it. And uh, the gentleman even has another Model 12 modified. And a vintage case from, from the gun is from the 50s and the case is probably era correct and uh so that's a uh, really nice so if you're stopping at uh trader's days definitely uh check out the first row uh gentleman has some really nice uh model 12 shotguns here the top, of the top of the woods there are deals to be found if you're early enough at for recovery trader's day this gentleman just picked up one two ammo boxes three ammo boxes four ammo boxes all four are these ammo boxes winchester western and a remington so he's got all three big brands and he picked them up for 50 bucks and had them for only 15. so there are deals to be had here and if you're at a uh, trader's days they also have a uh, reloading stuff so if you need uh dies for reloading they have a lot of dies here uh, as you can see 38, 357, 45. A lot more here. You got the presses and stuff down here. You see $50. A lot of reloading equipment here. Got some brass down here. A lot of brass, a lot of reloading tools. So if you're looking for uh, doing some reloading, there's a lot of equipment here at uh, Trader stays. We got Guns and Shit Saloon at uh, For Recovery's Trader's Day. So make sure you stop in at uh, Guns and Shit Saloon when you get here. <laughs> have some nice stuff here. Caltex and stuff. What I really like 
right here. International Harvest Store, the Gap Letter, M1 Garam. Wow. That's an idea. What a great piece. Yes, please. Go out to the look. Holy shit, a carton of cigarettes in there? I've been looking for a time. No, it's just right there. Let's take a look at this guy. Here's where the gap letters are at. It's in great shape. I didn't have to hold the camera, I can't do a very good opening of it, but what a nice piece. And if you're just curious what the difference is between a price on a International Harvester Rare with the gap letters, there's another pretty nice one, 1800 so big difference between the, the two. Anything special you're looking for? Got some nice military guns here too. Some have spires. I'm not gonna bolt here. I'll just straight up. And that's on around four hundred dollars each. That's just cool. Oh, look at these little cuties. Oh, what adorable little puppies. Charter resistible beagles. Oh, so cute. Look at these. Oh, cuteness overload. hunting stuff but uh we've got knives you know a lot of really nice knives you got some ice case stuff here i like those poker chips those are really really neat and uh but you don't have uh knives and guns you gotta be prepped you gotta have silver this gentleman has a lot of nice silver so if you're at traders days make sure you stop in along the fence check out this gentleman's collection of uh coins nice knives pipes and more it's something to do with that <laughs> what a good looking piece how you little guys doing <laughs> that's so cute uh, little cuties. Got some signs, some oil, other things. Check out the pedals. 195, 595 for that one. 425 for the sign. Ammo boxes are ten dollars each for little guys. And our Pico oil can is 45. There's some more oil cans down here. 35. No go. 45. And international. 65. Yeah. Check out some of these decoys at uh, Trader's Days. This gentleman has some really nice ones. Uh, uh, 1983 uh, canvas pack. And uh, these are wood or cork. And here's one of the cork ones. So these are, got some old gunnies. Wood again, really nice. 
authentic wood decoys. Snow geese. And different waterfowl. And mallards down there. It's got full size Canadian geese. And even more down here below. And uh, you can even have a, another goose right there. So, but yeah, what a great selection of uh, vintage uh, decoys here at Trader's Days. We looked at uh, decoy birds. We've got some peacocks down here. And we've got a real live mallards here. So if you want to get the real thing, the real deal instead of the decoys, also Trader's Days has uh, real ducks, not just, uh, and geese, not just decoys, and chickens, and peacocks, and I don't know if I can get the color on this one, but it's beautiful, and you can even uh, get a little plumage if you would like. Trader's Days doesn't even just have hunting stuff, we got cars here, check out this old hot rod, it's a 31 Ford with a 383 small block Chevy in it. Pretty cool car. And we just had a hot rod, but if you need rims and tires for your hot rod, they got those here too. That looks like it's Ford bolt pattern, 800 for set. And I'm um, not sure that might be a four and a half bolt pattern. So, and that is 1250 for the set of four. And we have some Jeep rims. The Jeeps are uh, 200 for a set of four. That's a really good deal right there. And we also have uh, pedal cars. We got a little John Deere pedal car, 350. We got a old McCormick Farmall, 550. This one right here is a pretty rare one. John Deere Lawn and Garden, 700. And we have a. 7600 for 500 a 4020 for 475 and another lawn garden and that's 550 so wow he's got two lawn gardens so it's pretty rare and he also has new in the box back here uh, f20 farmall for 600 <laughs> I, enjoy. I like the way they do the two by fours to hold the shotguns and they have a nice display here as well so you can just walk around the outside and take it all in what a nice setup they're giving shots down there fireball did you get one of them See, she has. I had one, and he's mm -hmm. like, here, you want another one? Sure. Really like, nice setup. And nice That's a too. good marketing boy. Here, have a shot. Come through my shit. Nothing like having alcohol and buying guns. That's I it. I have money, though, so I was good. <laughs> I'm, I'm too big for them guys. They had that big mm -hmm. Got a lot of nice loading supplies here. Brass, too. Primers, which aren't easy to find right now. They keep going up and down. I've seen them down around 60, up to 130. Really beautiful yeah, shotguns. Right. Wow. You want some uh, Russians or some Albanian or something? There? Good looking shotguns here. That is a big trap. My foot. <laughs> oh, I was gonna kick out those. And uh, these guys have another nice stuff besides big traps. 